In today's video, I'm working on a 20 inch canvas and I'm going to do an airbrushed pour with two shades of turquoise, white, and then I have some gold alcohol ink to add as an embellishment. Each of my colors are mixed with Tester's Craft Marbling Medium, which is just a pouring medium that I like to use for uh, my airbrushed paintings. I like the consistency and how thin uh, it makes the paint without needing to add any water. And for this one, I am using my airbrush that is corded. I like this one a little bit better than the cordless airbrush. The cordless airbrush was working for other techniques for me, but the style and design that I want, I'm using my other airbrush. And I'm just taking some of my colors and putting them down on the canvas and then using my airbrush to move them around. And I find that um, compared to Dutch pours and using a hairdryer, the airbrush just gives it a really nice, um, slightly different design than what I get with other tools. And if you want to see another airbrushed video that I did, um, you can check out video 547. I used purples in that one and it turned out really, really pretty. I'm just alternating my colors and putting down a really small amount at a time so that I don't overdo it and make things muddy. But I'm just using the white along the edges of that um, teal green and using the white to help um, move out the other colors. In some areas of the canvas towards the top and the bottom, I left some of the um, white negative space. I didn't want the colors to take up the entire canvas, um, but I do really like the way that these, um, I do like the way that these teal colors looked. That really pale light green, kind of like that bluish green turned out really nicely and they blended well together. I think they complement each other well and they look what good with the white uh, background. Once I had my design the way that I wanted it, I just took a small amount of my gold alcohol ink and used some paint brushes to gently add it to my surface. It spread out a little bit on its own, but then I also blew on it to move it around. But when the alcohol ink hits the acrylic paint, it dries really quickly. So it pretty much sets your design. So I tried not to overdo it, but I wanted some throughout this piece. And then once I was done, I took another paintbrush and it was a rougher paintbrush, uh, rougher bristles, and I dipped it in my alcohol ink and then splattered some paint 
some of the alcohol ink onto the paint. I hope you guys like this piece. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If there are other color palettes that you'd like to see in the airbrush design, let me know. I'm always looking for other inspiration. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I put out videos three times a week and I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.